and business At a virtual meeting a held with French investors, investors finance state minister Eyob Tekeling briefed the investors about the measures being taken by the European government to correct macroeconomic imbalances and to encourage the private sector to take up key roles in Ethiopia's economy. The virtual meeting was held with MEDEF International, the biggest employers association in France, regrouping other major French companies, some of which have investments in Ethiopia and are exploring ways to expand their investments in the country. Eyob said on the occasion that Ethiopia received 1.6 billion US dollars in foreign direct investments in the last six months. The focus for investment continues to be agro-processing, tourism, manufacturing, mining and IT sectors, he noted. In the time period between 1996 to 2020, French companies in Ethiopia have invested 4.7 billion birr in areas such as manufacturing, agriculture, real estate, hotels, tour operation and other sectors, creating over 4,000 permanent and 2,700 temporary jobs, according to the press release of Ministry of Finance. Director General of the Ethiopian Diaspora Agency, Salama Oitidawit, commended the Ethiopian diaspora community for their mounting of contribution in various aspects. She outlined the diaspora community have contributed enormous financial support worth over 1 billion birr. Alula Teklamariam reports. The Ethiopian Diaspora Agency is mandated to facilitate and cement the bond between Ethiopians living abroad in line with the country's national interest. In an exclusive interview with the TV Director General of the Agency, Salama Oitao praised the increasing contribution of Ethiopian diaspora community in Ethiopia's development endeavors. She outlined the diaspora community have contributed enormous financial support worth over 1 billion per. The diaspora community uh, in Ethiopia I and mean abroad uh, has been contributing uh, for uh, uh, national development of Ethiopia in general and also, and also more specifically in particular they've been contributing in national projects of the country for example Ethiopia, Ethiopian Great Renaissance, Great Renaissance Dam they've been contributing for other uh, other national projects too. We can we can mention the Tal Haga and also other national other national projects. Uh, so uh, so uh, they are they're also contributing you now for prevention uh, prevention of COVID-19 practice in Ethiopia. They have a proper service. They have a proper service now. We did uh, facilitate the uh, 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 investment idea. We analyze the project. We tell them the truth. We tell them that can go, that this can go or not. Well or not. But the very big number, the very big number, so that they disappoint or be disappointed later. So now it's getting now it's getting uh, uh, well it's getting well it's getting, well, it's getting you know, can see the number can see the number is uh, for instance uh, for instance last year, last this, year, this, year within this year within this year six months, six months, more than nine hundred more than nine hundred diaspora diaspora has been engaged in has been engaged in the case they get the license and get the license and get to the work and also uh, more than eight hundred more than eight hundred Investors, investors has been as accepted, as accepted. As they, they accept their proposal, proposal. Yes. Yes. Their proposal yes. and, and they are going to process it. We do have a connection with yes. all regions. Yes. We do have a diaspora uh, coordination office in every region in Ethiopia. 
Salamaut noted the communication improvements on the long bureaucratic system that have long been facing the diaspora community, citing the importance of having such institutions. Investment in our country, doing business in our country wasn't easy, especially for the diaspora. There wasn't a proper um, institution that they can talk to, they can uh, get advice, they can get information, you know. Uh, that was a basic problem that we did find out while we are starting this institution before two years ago. So I think getting information, proper information about what, what opportunity do Ethiopia has uh, regarding investment and trade, and you know, uh, that was a basic problem and also facilitate, facilitating uh, this investment and you know, business issues in, in this country. There wasn't uh, a particular, a particular uh, institution like, like right now. This government and you know, the, the, in this time they answered this question for the diaspora. Reports indicate that over 3 million Ethiopians live outside Ethiopia's borders. A story from across our continent, the World Health Organization, WHO, 